traders from around the world, welcome to a company called Real Life Trading Dead Camp. Hope everyone's doing splendid. First and foremost, this might be the third, fourth, maybe even the first video about uh, Trading View that you have seen us produce. We have some of the highest rating videos on Trading View. If you just type in Trading View into YouTube, uh, you'll notice we come up with 48,000 views. This is our introduction, so we're more than these people. These people, these people, uh, these people, and uh, that's it. So <laughs> anyway, we have many videos on Trading View. This is just the first one, but once you click on that one, the second one comes up, and if you click on the second one, the third one comes up. So I guess this is the fourth one, and I wanted to do this as a uh, video that Nathan requested. So shout outs to Nathan, who is a real life trader. He's a subscriber to one of our uh, to our trading rooms. So thank you, Nathan. Easy video. Simply entitled, How to Use the Screener and Scanner in TradingView. This is a newer tool, it has not been around forever, but TradingView, this is the charting software that I use. I don't get paid to promote TradingView, I'm not an affiliate of TradingView. I wish I got paid to promote their stuff. <laughs> that would be wonderful. I'm not opposed to it, but it. Uh, I've read through some of their legalese and uh, a lot of their requirements to be an affiliate are pretty constraining. But anyway, without all that stuff. Let's talk about how to use a screener. It is bulky. Some of you might have also seen my FinViz video. Uh, FinViz, if you type in FinViz, uh, I'm the top ranked uh, search result on how to use FinViz. That's another screener that many traders have used, but this one in particular, very simple actually. So here's the bottom left-hand side. This is probably what you see. When you first pull up TradingView and you actually log into the chart, right? Here's your, uh, you'll probably have an icon up here and this is just how my TradingView is, uh, is looked. Down here, you'll notice paper trading. So first and foremost, you can virtually trade on TradingView. That is a solid thing that you do. Um, strategy tester, so if you build a strategy, um, you can create it right here. So to test a strategy, apply it to a chart, use the symbol and time interval. So you can do all kinds of really cool stuff there. You can use a built-in strategy from indicators and strategies, or you can write your own in the Pine Editor. Trading View has so many things you can do. Uh, text notes, obviously if you want to make notes on a particular stock uh, or anything else. And then here's the screener. So the, the screener um, is self-explanatory, right? Performance, valuation, dividends, margin, income statement, balance sheet, trend following. So you can do all of that here. Or you can come over to this, top right hand, the right hand side, click on this. And this is going to be all of your filters. So you can do descriptive, you can do fundamental, and you can also do technical. And this is something you can use pre-market, uh, before the market opens, the US stock market. You can use it pretty much any time of the day, whatever you want. There's a lot here that you can build into, but pretty much if we type in, um, let's just say percentage, so this is percentage change. So let's type, let's type in gap really quick. Oops, sorry, just G-A-P. And there's gap, so gap percentage above uh, a specific value. So if you type in 4%, it's automatically immediately going to down here screen. So you have 59 matches that um, are gapping above 4%. You could exit this little thing right here and you can scroll through these. What you can also do is come over here. Once you have done a scan, whatever that scan might be, you can filter them with the close, change, rating, volume, market cap, PE ratios, um, you know, whatever you want to look at, you can look on the different time interval. Uh, you can also export the screener to a CSV file if you need to upload that into something else. And you can also come over here and click on it and save the screen. So you can save the screen as gap up or gap down. Now what's also super cool is if you come over here into this filter, um, you'll notice once I clicked X, like once I X out of it, this gap, um, you know, right here is added to the, the new search. Now, the unfortunate thing is you can't do gap ups and gap downs at the same time, to my knowledge, right now. Uh, obviously, this will change and get better over time, but I can't figure out how to do both gap up and gap down and have it all in one thing. Uh, you can do change, you can do gaps, you can do all that, but I can't do a gap up at, at once and a gap down at once. I mean, it's simple enough because you can do a gap up, do a list for that and do a gap down and do a list for that. I just want you all to know that TradingView does have a screener. That's mostly the purpose of making this video is if you want to make a screener, you can do so. The interesting thing is screeners are great, 
but you still have to know how to take the trade. You still have to know how to play it. You still have to know where to get in, where to get out. And uh, this is a very useful screener. You can do pretty much anything. If you wanna do stuff pre-market, look at that. You can type in ticker symbol, you know, not ticker symbol, P-R-E. And you can do pre-market change percentage, right? You can do above or below, above or equal, in between. So you can do, again, pre-market gaps up, pre-market gap downs. TradingView does have a screener and it can be a fundamental. So the cool news is this is another example of how there are truly endless opportunities out there in the market. You will never run out of stocks to trade. You'll never run out of setups to trade. I have plenty of screeners that I uh, use or can use or like to use. I will find more trades using screeners than I have money and I can do that anyway. So if you want to use the scanner for pre-markets, um, you can, you know, you can definitely do that, right? So if you come over here, you can do pre-market change above or below. You can do a gap. Um, you can do RSI. Um, so here's, you know, Ichimoku Cloud, Relative Strength Index, Stochastics. Um, you can do, again, descriptive. So all the different descriptive types. What sector is it in? What country? What index? Uh, the market cap. So this is another screener similar to Finviz, but built in TradingView. And what I like about it is you can save whatever screeners you want, top gainers, top losers. Keep in mind that it already does have a hot list, TradingView does. So you already have uh, the biggest volume and then the biggest gainers and then the biggest losers right here. So TradingView already has that built in with this little fireball right here. But trend following, all that is here, um, you know, moving average rating, sell, strong buy, and again, you can click that, uh, and it'll go right to the chart. So even this, I mean, this looks phenomenal. I like the trend, it looks nice. So again, it's, it's pretty much irrelevant what you wanna trade. You will run out of more trading opportunities than you will run out of, um, you will run out of money before you run out of trading opportunities. The goal is mitigate your risk, protect yourself, and keep your positions into a level where if you lose, you don't lose more money than you can afford to lose. That's a good spot to be in. So anyway, I think I've rattled on enough. There's tons of information here. If you have any questions on a scanner, you're welcome to email me, jeremy at reallifetraining.com. If you need help, if you need to build a coaching session uh, with me and you to help you build a personal scanner, whatever it is that you need, we can help you. But just know that the resources are there. Many of them are free. And if you are part of TradingView and you're watching this, Reach out to me and uh, let's see if we can do some type of work together because I would love to. Like, I've always been promoting yourself for the last four years and I'd love to continue to do so. But anyway, hopefully this helps. You guys are awesome. Enjoy. And if you have any questions, well, let me know.